days ago, Sasha wrote in and asked me, did I know any efficient ways of creating unique keyword identifiers in Google AdWords, or if I was just creating the, the unique identifiers manually? Uh, it's a really good question. A lot of times I'll import several hundred keywords at once, so the, the process of manually creating a unique identifier for each keyword would be very time consuming. So I'll, I'll show you the method I'm using and hopefully it'll help you out. Right now if you um, open up Google AdWords editor here, and I created uh, just a sample example ad group here and uh, right now it has no keywords in it so we'll go to the top of the screen click on data there's a really good feature here keywords we can add and update multiple keywords at once and that's going to open up the screen for us and what this does it's going to allow us to paste our keywords in the block and by doing so we can assign the uh, keyword type we can assign a maximum cost per click for the keyword we can assign the destination URL which is going to include our unique keyword identifier and we can also assign the, the status. Um, a lot of these are optional for our, for our example here. We're basically going to be using the keyword and the destination URL. And to create the unique identifiers I'm using uh, Excel. So I'll open up Excel here. All right. And you can see at the top of the screen that I've already assigned two column headers that you're going to need to, to place at the top of your sheet. One is called Keyword, the other one is called Destination URL, and I just put those in the top two columns here at the top. And in column C1, I basically just included the uh, a, an example ClickBank URL. It has the, uh, the TID at the end of it, the TID equals, but it doesn't have uh, anything after that. That's where we're going to be placing our unique identifier. And uh, I told you a lot of times I may be entering hundreds of keywords, importing hundreds of keywords at once. So I created uh, just an example of uh, 100 keywords here that we'll place. And we'll go ahead and paste them into our keyword column. All right, there we go. And right now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy the, uh, the example URL, the example ClickBank URL at the top. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it down the, uh, the, the, the columns here or rows, whatever. Okay. So all we did is just bring that all the way down beside each, uh, each keyword. All right, now we need to create a unique identifier for each keyword. So what I'm going to do is in the, uh, the first one, beside the first K1 over here, I'm going to come to column, it's in D2, so I'm going to come to D2, and I'm just going to place a 1 right there. And for the next column, I'm going to use a little Excel magic. I'm going to click on the equals button. And the value of this column is going to equal D2, which is 1, plus 1. So I'm going to click enter. And you see that it assigned the identifier of 2 for the next, for the next row. And then I'm just going to copy that, control C. And we'll go down beside each keyword. And we'll do a paste. And you can see that Excel, little Excel magic, it assigned a, a unique identifier for each row that we have. So each each keyword now has a unique identifier. We just need to get that identifier into our destination URL here. And uh, that process is pretty easy. So we'll come over here using a little more Excel magic click on the, um, the equals button and the destination URL for keyword 1 is going to equal C2 and click the and sign and it's going to equal D2. Let's open this up so you can see it. So you can see that basically it took our destination URL and added the unique identifier at the end of it. Uh, so now we're just going to copy that. We're going to paste it down the length of uh, our keywords. And voila, there we go. We've got um, our destination URL, URL set up with a unique identifier at the end of each one. So um, now the process is pretty simple. We just come through and we want to copy both of these columns. Go down and get all 100 here. Copy. Go 
back to AdWords Editor. We can just paste it right there. Click Next. Finish. And you can see that AdWords Editor, it, it imported all of our keywords and it imported the destination directory for all of them. So that's the process that I use to assign uh, unique identifiers. Uh, hope that it helped. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.